Hello, my name is George Medina, training specialist for South Florida. Hi, I am Marilu, and I am the administrator coordinator for the Caribbean and co-hosting with Jorge. This session is part two of the March webinar series, and we'll be focusing on diversity and sensitivity. The agenda for this session will include the elements that encompass the diversity mission statement of the American Red Cross and classroom considerations for language and disabilities. We will also cover how culture and professional communication can impact our approach in the classroom. Diversity and inclusion are the building blocks of the diversity statement. The fundamental principles were established by the International Red Cross because, as a public service organization, it makes sense to place diversity and inclusion at the forefront of our operations. The seven fundamental principles are humanity, impartiality, universality, unity, humanity, voluntary service, and independence. Diversity is all the characteristics, experiences, and cultural influences that make each of us unique individuals. While some unique differences are obvious, some are not. Inclusion is successful when all team members and course participants can make an effective and meaningful contribution towards the established goals and objectives. It is important to create an atmosphere where all your team members and students feel comfortable participating. Red Cross developed an excellent diversity, sensitivity, and awareness e-learning course that can be accessed through the Learning Center STABA. Many different elements affect language, from one's country of origin to one's education level. Because of this, people will comprehend and interpret what we say in different ways. The fundamental principle that comes to mind for this characteristic is universality, because the Red Cross is everywhere. Consider a scenario where a student is having trouble understanding the course content because of an apparent language barrier. What would you do? It is important to always use clear and concise phrases regardless of the group you are presenting to. Refrain from technical medical jargon and stick to the language laid out in your instructor manual. If available, pair the participant with a co-instructor, instructor's aide, or a student with a strong grasp of the material so one-on-one -on -one attention can be provided. Our courses are also available in Spanish and can be offered to a student that would prefer that training language. Many people with disabilities are highly successful and make great contributions to our society despite the physical and mental challenges they live with. The fundamental principle that this characteristic highlights is humanity. Since we are a humanitarian organization, we are looking to help people merely because of the fact that they are in need. The Americans with Disability Act is a law that protects people with disabilities from discrimination. What would you do in a situation where a student is having difficulty kneeling on the floor for the core skills? If the skill is checking an unconscious person, it is required for it to be a partner practice. However, it is not required for the responder to kneel on the floor, as they can do all the steps from a standing position. Mannequin skills can easily be modified to be done from a chair or table. Just make sure that participants are practicing on a sturdy surface. People all have different opinions and values. People will make their own interpretation of what you are saying despite your intention. Red Cross established neutrality as a fundamental principle to help prevent issues around expression of personal beliefs and values. Whenever you are representing the Red Cross, you must set the example by only using professional language and never cursing, using a racial slur, or a derogatory condescending term or making stereotypical comments. What would you do if a participant used or is using inappropriate language? Act quickly to address the situation and let the group know that terms like that are unacceptable. Discuss the situation with the student during a break. We have to be respectful of other customs and traditions because people will interpret visual cues and scenarios differently. The fundamental principle that best guides us in scenarios of cultural diversity is impartiality. Impartiality means that we must value and respect everyone despite their gender, race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, or age. Sometimes when we are setting up our mannequins, we find that the removable faces do not match the color of the mannequin body. What will we do in this scenario? For some of us, this may seem a minor issue, but for others, this is interpreted as a serious demonstration of cultural insensitivity. 
Make an effort to find matching faces by searching in your local PHSS storage room. If you cannot find matching faces, make it a point to apologize to the participants for the situation. Make sure to follow up with your training specialist so that you can get matching faces. Thank you so much for joining us for session two of the March 4 part series. Please make sure to watch all other three sessions. The attendance confirmation word for this session is CROSS. When you watch all four sessions, you will have all four words that will make one sentence. Please send the four-word sentence to your training specialist to receive YouTube attendance credit for your participation. Bye.